spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Interesting. Interesting, because I only did a synopsis of the first game and uh, the details about Hades. It was very interesting about Hades, you know, that's the evil force of the demons and stuff like that, taking over machines. And now this is the sequel that she, the Hades, survived. she defeated Hades in the first game, but now I heard that Hades has survived. And I'm curious how she's going to destroy Hades and all this nasty machinery stuff once all. But whatever, y'all, this is this Grand Seven. I want you guys and girls. And so today, Horizon Forbidden West. First time playing, just first time playing this whole world, this whole universe. I am very excited and ecstatic about this game. I'm just trying to get my uh, settings right. Um, I am very excited about this game. I don't know what to expect, but I'm expecting some great, amazing, amazing, am amazing, amazing <laughs> visuals. Um, you want to keep this, uh, yeah, fidelity mode now. Um, motion blur off. Yep, and stuff like that. I'm trying to give it a best, best, yeah, best luck. HDR is fine. 4K, fully. I would love to see his visual presentations. And let's continue on with the story because I am hyped and I am amped. So comment down below what to expect in the story. All right? And and uh, yeah, let's take it from here. All right, here we go. Action! Yeah, let's go with easy. Give it easy. Take it easy for me. My first time playing. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, I mean, this is my first time in this world, so as soon as I get experienced, then yeah. Alright. I'm very excited for this game.
I must say the visuals are outstanding. And the haptic feedback is amazing in my fingertips. Holy crap, this looks beautiful. People are suffering. Soon they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. sec just take the subtitles off my god this looks beautiful um uh subtitles where is subtitles at just want my subtitles off real quick uh yeah turn off please uh no that's cool that's fine um all right continue on this looks beautiful man and every night i have the same dream I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. So, since I haven't played the first game fully, but I understand the story, so Elizabeth is like her clone, from what I understand. It's like a mother to her. And she's looking for a mother or something like that. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. A brother! <laughs> Vivid and Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Oh. 
Okay. But if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's cool. So the focus is like their guide to see... Is she like this all the time? Old school stuff in the past world. history. Come on. on the way here we should find some medicinal plants stock up so it's time for your first lesson with the focus sounds good let's get started these plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands the focus helps you see the ones we need We should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Oh, because I'm like looking for the plants and stuff like that. I just had to heal her. Okay. Overall, I'm, 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 I'm hunting to the universe now. Those ruins. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Huh? Yeah, I am. Um, we're into some trouble on the way here. I'm still a lot of my gear. in that machine. Better take a closer look. It's 
Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some heroes of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. For you. Neither the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission, we need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You're right about that. <coughs> oh, that that's affecting my health. Okay. I was just walking through it. Like, is that going to affect me? Or, okay. Find an entrance to the ancient ruins. Dead end, Aloy. Over here. Maybe we can get into the ruin this way. Down this way. That's very interesting. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. It's eye. It's a weak spot. Right. Okay. I'm Concentrate. Ready. Skills shot for that. Another one's coming. Find anything good? 
A few supplies. Focus know all that. It reads data from a machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. <laughs> I set out to find you. Another ladder. I need to shoot off the lock. God. Someone <laughs> shot this machine too. <laughs> you said you got to focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. To have extras. Hey, I, am I going the right way or? Okay, because the ladder, so the ladder is giving me a hint. Okay, that's the sprint button. Up here. Some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of 
part of a machine. Could help fix the gears. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. There. A uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Pushing everything, but uh, okay, to build a pull cast and push uh, L2 and triangle. Okay, it's gonna take me a while to get used to do it. Better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We Proceed into the auditorium, where we unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this. Sorry, there was something I needed to do. You were talking before I left? Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. I should activate my focus. Scan the area. Well, the poles didn't turn up much. I better scan. Oh, I might be able to get up there. I'm guessing the strike button. Okay, so maybe I gotta hold L2 and sh oh, there it is. Silly me. Tap. Okay, jump and tap X to grapple points. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Wow, <laughs> that works. Yeah, it did. Don't worry. I'll find you another way.
Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. I about to say, don't fall, Denzel. <laughs> okay, so this and triangle. Okay, so that's the pulley thing, and, and hold, and I did the right thing. That was a chest. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was a pulley thing. All right. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Just got lower it now. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is... Data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Did it run wrong, or someone corrupted it, and it blew up? Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. 
It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Interesting. So basically, for what I'm understanding from the story, is that they're trying to find a new safe haven for humanity to start all over. So interesting. I'm put to the world now. Sure, sure. Wonder what stars the wild has really grown over this place deeper into the creepy ruin we go Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. That really freaked me out a little bit too. But like, whoa, what? <laughs> Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Trying to get used to these buttons. Okay, so that's the scanner. Okay. okay. Oh, so kill a borrow for silent strike. Okay, so R1 to highlight track. Okay. Okay, so he's going in circles. Okay, wait. Alright, so... This is like Jurassic Park with them little velociraptors. Okay. Alright. Yep. He's scanning. Or she's scanning. I don't care what kind of gender machine it is. Okay. I'm just going to creep up on you. She said, throw a rock. All right, so I'm assuming. Ah, freak. Dang, I freaked up. <laughs> Alright. So, okay, so scanning. Alright, let's see what I can do. Oh, 
Now, am I supposed to shoot at it or? Damn, Damn. I got spotted. Okay, hold on. Darn it. Okay, so when I throw the rock, right? Okay, so she said a spear. Damn, Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, 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 so let me focus, let me focus. Okay, hold on. So I'ma sneak up it in the in the red gear thingy. Okay. Scan. Uh huh. Okay. I gotta, I gotta get used to the controllers, man. I keep thinking the other button for the other one, and uh, God, I'm sucking at this. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it this time. I'm, all right, I'm gonna get it this time. I'm gonna get it this time. Oh, free, 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 free. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that took so long. I was hesitant too. Okay. It was gonna take me a while as I haven't played the game throughout. I'm gonna get a hang of it. Okay. I, I just gotta get used to the control buttons, that's all. Oh my god, man. Just, just sneaking up on him. Alright, now we can move on. Search the ancient ruins for it. Gaia, back up. Okay. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. Kill the machines or sneak on them? I guess we could do either or.
Okay, so the R1 is for critical strike and R2 is like heavy strike. Yeah. Don't take me a while to get accustomed to these buttons. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. And the HDR is so good that it's making my eyes squint. If y'all see my eyes squinting a little bit, <laughs> that's how bright and sharp it is. It's like, good lord. But making teary eyed is so beautiful. The Osra must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. This for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful, traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I can use this. So basically before I'm getting this game, it's like a survivor's guide, which I love. And we're fighting against machines, but we're like in the 31st century and we're kind of like the beginning, sort of, sort of beginning technology of human civilization mixed with Modern day machinery. I like that. Okay. I like that. I like that idea. Like I said, I have no knowledge of. Well, like I said, I looked on YouTube and it gave me a certain story synopsis for the first game, so I understand so far what's going on. And, uh, see, we go from there. Okay. Triangle. Now, this is. Okay, wait. To craft a blast hole. This to open up a hunter's kit. Okay. There. There. Explosive trap, trap made. If anybody wants one of those, they won't want to get it. buttons man <laughs> it's gonna take me such a while feels like algebra with these buttons
We're clear. Let's keep going then. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. Big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Like we've got to climb up. You okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. That looks like the way we came. Oh! Aloy! Yeah. yeah. That hurt. I almost killed myself, blew myself up bad. <laughs> In my own trap. Good start, Denzel. Good start. Right. So we gotta get up here. Yeah, well, okay, we, 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 we went there. Okay, so let me see if I'm going to go down. i just put the ladder down here. I'm going to tell, I, I could tell this is going to be a very challenging game for me, but fun challenges. I love challenges, so. Okay, so, got to get up there. Okay, so we need to scan that thing. It's got to be, okay, here we go. So that scan thing is going to be my best friend. You're like Google Maps for me. Oh, oh my God. Well, well it is a thousand years old. Girl like Nathan Drake breaking things. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table.
Maybe that thing at the table does something. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase two, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy? Why does that woman look like you? Uh, um... It's okay, Paul. We look alike because... We're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I... wasn't born. I was... made. By a machine. It's... why I'm motherless, why I... Wow. As an I don't understand. That's interesting. What kind, what kind of machine, machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. Wow! Since the goddess spoke, spoke to you, you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too. With the focus, but for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Uh, that's interesting. So the machine Gaia created. Uh, what's your name? I'm trying to get used to these names now. Her name is Ao. 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 Forgive me, but uh. Aloy, Aloy, over here. Aloy, thank you, sir. Um, what is that? Very interesting. So she's been crafted. It's like a surrogate mother, basically, machinery. And uh, I heard her dad, you know, I think he died or something like that. It's interesting. Um, blasting launches cast effect in large areas. This is some frozen. So I'm getting all my gear. Very interesting. Very interesting. Don't you know, die here. Mankind depends too much on machinery, you know, and do all that. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Same direction we're going. Right. Is that a giant snake machine? I could try to get 
शायद पहले हुआ तो मारा जाए Switch to my bow. It's already brittle. <laughs> that big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Do some one second, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. I just have to do something on my computer real quick. All right, resume. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them.
ladder in the back. Machine ripped right through the wall. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. If they slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. And they're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle. Oh god, here we go. Do I gotta go bypass some snake things? If I can make it to that tower, we should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. See if I can do a sneak attack on this one. Maybe I should stick to my spear for now. Save some ammo.
there. That ladder can get me up to the tower. myself off that grapple point. Sounds good. Storm's getting bad. Okay, let's hope I do this without falling to my death. See if I get this right. All right, so... Take me a while, darn it, to use these controls. Uh, okay, so I have a climb back up here. So I just okay. Trying to remember the control buttons, man. Uh, I'm gonna try to jump circle. <sighs> Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on for a sec. I don't like being confused. Let me just let me just try out. For, uh, sorry, I changed a few settings to help me out, but uh, ah, all this because of jumping. Uh, okay, let me see something real quick, y'all. All right, so I just tab right. You know what? I'm gonna try all doggone buttons. Y'all could probably just skim through the video. Is you know the part where I make it? I'll be cheering. Okay. Just, just, just jump across and do the, the agile. Yes. Okay, so I hit the circle square. I did all kinds of buttons. Okay, so seeing the length of that thing, 
this thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump from there. Yep. Easy does it. You skinny little thing. Okay, here we go. Okay. Can she sprint on the pole? Nah, I ain't gonna do that. So I'm gonna jump on this pole. Uh, that was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. Clamps holding the shuttle in place. I'll bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Crouch right in front of the machine too. down below. I'm gonna have to climb the tower. Darn, you were this close too. Climb up the launch tower. Now how to get up the tower. Scanning with my focus could help here. If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift.
Ellie, the creaking doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. <laughs> Oh God, here we go with this crap again. Ah, I hope I, I hope I push the right button, y'all. Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. If y'all having pro problems hitting those buttons like I am, just just mash every button. Just do the arcade. Just mash every button when you do those jumps. <laughs> Cause this helped me out. I don't remember what button to do that. Okay, she said she gotta get higher, right? So is this higher or she gotta Oh crap. You know how to fight them, fight them snakes. Oh my god, I spoke too soon, dang it. <laughs> god darn it, Denzel, why did you have to say it? <laughs> I'm nervous as heck too trying to find a weak spot, try to shoot it.
God, that was challenging. <laughs> I'm trying to shoot it. Oh my god. There we go. Say hello to my little friend. Yo, what the heck? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. God, that was so <laughs> first level. Button mashing was difficult, challenging. Uh, I'm gonna have a long journey on this game. <laughs> I gotta take everything, girl. All that fight in the house, I gotta do this day. here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzine's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Computer hackers, man. Not cool. <laughs> so, so I'm that guy is dead, right? The hacker guy, or is he alive? Hey, but you? anywho, he messed up the system. So, the goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. sharp bite sometimes you know but it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin the thing is um there's going to be more of that i'm out of leads Farrell. but i i have to keep searching and fast and whatever risks i have to take i will and it doesn't make sense to have someone with me someone who might get hurt this is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Farrell. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure. But Spymaster Murad, back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. of the lands. Overall, I'm enjoying the game pretty good. It's just the mechanic and controls I gotta take care of. So, so these are the tribes that we are meeting. And I'm loving this world too, by the way. So. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, 
For less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the lights. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. And that's the Hades thing that she killed in the first one. Cause don't the black dude, the bald headed dude, activated Hades? So for how it ended? Jump to that ledge behind me. Should be able to jump back and reach those ropes behind me. over to the spire looks like I can use my pull caster on that should be able to get up there now I thought silence was helping me when he gave me his lands it looks like he tricked me Transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully, the transmission node at the top will tell me. Well, doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. This panel's a jar. Can I go up through the inside? Can 
elevator? Let's see. Access lift activated. Lucky day. Engaging maintenance configuration. I wonder what the Karja will make of this. Man, that looks dark and interesting. Could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. See, you can't trust him. You know, he, he helped her out one point, then he's like, eh, you know, he's like a backstabber. So, now she gotta kill Hades again in a tougher way, I guess, in this game. She's like, God darn it, I know I shouldn't trust you, I shouldn't trust you. and it transformed almost like the day of the battle I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day few will have seen the tower change from Meridian what did you discover? Hades the danger didn't end here it went into the Forbidden West and I have to follow I see but that can be difficult the West is called Forbidden for a reason a tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. I like that these different tribes have their different traditions and their own rituals. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Who's it? Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you?
Pretty sweet gifts y'all got there. Try, Try it out. That's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Got a new toy. Christmas gift. Alloy spear. Champion spear. I need to attend Mr. Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. And another band. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce. In hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say, years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Baron Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Edelman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me, but I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. What makes this come out? Let's go over all the details. Today is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav. 
One of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean Raider? Uh, no. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Oh, you like her? I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. Yeah, and give him a chance. Give him a lovely thought. But, but this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. So he got a Robert Downey Jr. vibe to him in a way. I don't know if it's the beard and the eyes. Downey, kind of mommy in a way. Um, let's see what else I can interact with. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of Shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine. That's cute. You're welcome. And the facial um, graphics are impressive, too. I, uh, I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. There, the workbench. Good to see you back here, Savior. Uthid, Vanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. And I'm assuming these are for the first one, so give her a nice little welcome. I'm going to choose a conversation to go to. We actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? 
I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? Huh. <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside... You're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were, we're talking about Ian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's cute. He's, He's fun. fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. Okay. I like him, too. Well, I, I know, I know, you're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. I didn't expect to see you up and about. Not again! Okay, master override installed. This something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator should help in a fight. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Exactly how I'd be feeling sometimes. <laughs> and she snuck out and uh left her home. Yeah, she did. I can't figure. Oh, my boy. 
Wow, we're in the beginning of the game. Do the intro. I was about to say, um, beautiful start. <laughs> uh, so far, I am really enjoying this game, enjoying this world, enjoying the cinematography of the look of it and just the lighting and the details and this is in fidelity mode um because i love cinematic looks this looks amazing um like i said it's going to take me a long time to wrap my head around these controls but i will get the hang of it um this character if i'm saying her name right because i'm beating her for the first time i'm gonna call her a for now aloy a i'm gonna call her a for now it's like for her name again and again it'd be stuck in my head so these creatures, they're, they're, it seems like they're being crafted by humanity back in the days, and they, they had living matter, and then they mixed it up, and just made robots and everything. It's like they just made Terminator, but just too far. So now, since the apocalyptic era has arrived, um, now they're living in the 31st century, and now it's like survival of the fittest of here, so... Overall, I'm enjoying her character, and then I can see why it's called the uh, Forbidden West because she has to go in the West to find Hayes, the evil, as they call it, demonotic um, robot guy uh, um, thing, you know. So yeah, but it's a very interesting concept in the world, you know. So very interesting. I'm hooked. <laughs> And outstanding, like I said, on the PS5, outstanding looking game, man. Like I said, HDR was so bright in my eyes, I was squinting through a half of the game. Look at that, look at the snow, look at the details of the wind. And during the hair, like I hear certain video game processing that gamers created, hair is very difficult to make it move like that, so... Let's give these creators an, a round of applause, a clap. Horizon Forbidden West, and we're in an intro of the game. It was a long behind intro because it took me a while to get adjusted to these controllers, like I said. But, uh, yeah, but I'm really enjoying it. Sparks to steel. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Alvin. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. 
What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ha! Great. Tone of voice, is that a good thing? Don't do as I say immediately. The Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Aside, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy at Baronlight. way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon. Proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See? Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun... It will be. Trust me. <laughs> well... She had to put her foot down somewhere, you know? <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're gonna cut to we're gonna cut here from the stream, um, continuing on in the next vid, and uh, great time with this game. I really love this game so far, so far. Um, yeah. So this is me signing out with a bang. Tune in next time, y'all. Woo!